shoulder yeah, I did I got I had nothing to do with that stash last night don't worry we spooned a little <laughs> got a little cold here. and uh we're both just in our puffies dude it's starting to snow right now oh god like, these new boots they did really well they're pretty much frozen right now but uh waterproofness did real well and uh you know our water is kind of frozen so that's what we're drinking and making our meals with, but I'm gonna set this by the fire. Let it kind of thaw out. <laughs> it's been a rough go. Rough go, but we're still trying. Let these thaw out. There's everybody's tents. <laughs> hey, Trent. It's snowing. It's, snowing. it's like Christmas. What do you think, bud? I think the last time I got snowed on, it was one of the toughest days of my life. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Let's not back it up so, with that. Uh, no, I feel better about this one. I'm just worried about the hearing bugles. Yeah, I know. Sound. But Sound just doesn't travel that far in this. Did you hear anything? Like 45 minutes ago. You think? It was like I was just waking up. It was really high pitch. I'm not, I'm not 100%. Could have been, could have been not. This is, this is interesting. Thanks for the fire, brother. Yeah, I thought I'd get a fire going. Everybody's. Get a little breakfast. Yeah. You know? oh, this is great. And uh, it's a good way to start the day. A little fire, a little breakfast. Get the spirits high. Oh, yeah. well, let's go shoot an elk. Track, track some blood and snow. Cancel a wedding. Did I say that out loud? That was out loud. Sorry, Flair. That's my bad. Sorry, Flair. I don't know I might have to miss your wedding. The other, if we go this way. So this is the way we came yesterday. We came up here, and then we cut across. And this is where we got on all those mm -hmm. tracks. Mm -hmm. And I had marked this two years ago and marked it in bit bedding area. It's decent through this flat right here for a half mile. But then you see those lines get real tight. Mm -hmm. That's... That's that steep thing right there. We don't want to go in there, but if you go over and around, it's really, really steep here. But this side is bench, 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 oh, wow. bench, bench, all the way down. And then there's a forest fire. That's where that old burn is. Four years ago. Okay. 
bench, bench, bench flats all through here, and then if you hiked all the way out, then we'd be at the trucks. The thing is, we don't want to get into this. This is a marshy swamps. It's terrible. Not goodness. It's terrible. And then we'd have to come out here, and there's the trucks. And so I've never seen any elk down in that marshy stuff. It's all moose and moose. I really think that if we find elk, they're going to be up there, way over there, or right here. So those are the options. Go that way. We chose our spot. There you go. Another hunter? Another hunter. We could, we're surrounded. If they're hunting hunters, we'd be doing actually pretty decent. These hunters here. <laughs> Why? Why are they, they so stupid? Them? Why would you want to walk around, freeze your toes off, burn 4,000 calories a day? And, you know, why would you want to do that? I thought we were the only ones. I know. I'm still under the assumption I painted my face for an actual elk. <laughs> Yeah, I'm painting it too. Did, did you shave your legs for that? I mean, my chest hair. Uh, I, th I thought I heard one that way. Like something way off. Back the other way? I don't know. I feel like we're surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> With all these elk tracks. There's a lot of tracks right here. Yeah. There's enough. Go down there, hit that flat. Hit these benches all the way down a mile. I'm going to use the hunters as a satellite bowl. That's my plan and then we'll cut in front of them. Gentlemanly like. It's 3D elk chess that has to be played on public land. <sighs> Can I draw my gun? It'll get the hunters away from us. Something has to be done. And there's a possibility with the hunters going away from us, they will drive the elk to us. That doesn't make any sense. Makes every bit of sense. What's a forest pop? Look it up. About us. Flair, I gotta tell you right now, Rackley is a really, really good friend. <laughs> Leaving the elk woods to make it to your wedding. He loves you. We got, we got four hard hours. We could get a magic bugle. We could. Then oh, flares out. In which case, Flair. It, it Flair, I'm just gonna let you know right now, if there's a bugle at four o'clock and it's a, it's a hot one, I may have to dip. <laughs> so, there is that. He's 
he's on the move. Yeah, he's on the move. This is this is tracks. What are the odds of catching a bull like this? Pretty good. I guess better in the snow. Follow their tracks to the bedding area. But they have a lot longer legs than we do. They could be a mile ahead of us right now. I think they're gonna head down to the swamps. Really, judging on where they were. We're close. He's right there. That's a play. He's right there. That was it. 400 yards. Pretty cool. <laughs> you got this, buddy. He's just on this ridge. I know, it's tough. Just remember to stop it when you can. In a lane.
was a big animal. Oh my god, here he comes again. See him up there just turning his head. Maybe his cows took off or something and moved. <laughs> you did awesome, man. You did really. There we go. Okay, he's moved down to our left. <laughs> this is the program. Right, it goes awesome. My wind was pretty consistent the whole time. You know, right now it's not. Right now it's not bad. But he was right. That's spot change was just right there. Just change. But I don't know if they winded us. I don't. I know the big bull did. It almost oh, seems like the spike maybe ran out and got the cows, and then he took off. Like, oh, what the hell's going oh, on? Yeah. That could happen. So we'll just we're just gonna stay with him. Just, we'll just reset. Was it awesome? Could you kill him? Oh yeah. I think I heard that spike coming into you guys because I heard sticks popping over there. I watched him. He ran off the hillside. Came that must have been what I heard. Just showed up. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, guys. We just have not been able to get back on this bull. I think he's like a mile away by now. So disappointing. But what ended up happening is we chased him for another mile and a half. So now we're really far away from the truck. We're like seven or eight miles away so it's gonna be a long hike out of here i've got to get out of here because i gotta make a wedding so i'm heading to outlaws tonight i probably won't get there like the wee hours in the morning and then get it dressed up and go to a wedding tomorrow why do you guys have to get married in september I'm not here trying to get on bulls, man. Anyway, I love you guys though. Outlaw, Flair, and all you guys for staying tuned with me and all this. This is really hard. But first we gotta make it back to the truck, so whew, let's get there. And we still have a chance of getting on a bull. Flutes, we'll see. That sounds pretty good. That sounded pretty bully to me. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Are you chuckle shaming right now, Steve? There's some chuckle shaming going on. I feel like you're chuckle shaming right now. Chuckle shamer. Let him have it again, Trevor. I don't know.
ready to go down. Did you show I shoulder back. Look, shoulder back. Let's see. Look, he got a buckle when he was standing there. Like, he didn't even see. Did he? Let's just back out. It's hard to tell. I mean, it was more of a... Yeah, but I said... It didn't go crack. Was like a normal shoulder shot. Was he brought side? He was brought side. And he came out on rope. Yeah. He was just right He got there. in between two trees. And I called him and he, he stopped. And I just had like, well, I'm in the narrow area. I had to hit him kind of forward because the back was out of trees. Reviewing the footage, um, we're not quite sure. Something weird happened because the sound of it sounded like going into the cavity, but the air was sticking out quite a ways. We gotta make a move here. Um, we got a four wheeler trail around here. We don't want the elk to bump, and we got snow coming. This is pretty epic. Hope this comes together. Come on, baby.
so it may not be a double long. So let me just take it easy. The last thing we want to do is push the elk. I'm trying to go slow, but I'm excited. I'm slow, but there's a snowstorm coming. Yeah. I can't lose blood. There's a lot of factors at play. It's starting to clock up a little bit right here. Well, it's also going uphill. You shot it kind of high forward. So it wants a little bit of fall back. When we, when we go up and over here, we should see it start again. If that happens, then we'll, we've got it. Is that he's dead. And they went up this hill, it's gonna take him a second to start bleeding again. He's in the lung for sure. Yeah, what's that? He's in the lung for sure. Oh, it's almost looked arterial to me. One mile an hour, five minutes. So, is that good or bad? Good for the time being, because he lost a lot. I mean, he's, if you had to measure all that blood, oh, yeah. he lost it's a, a lot. lot. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Unbelievable. We got uh, something, something coming in here. Uh, we ran out of blood. I think, I think we're gonna give it a little time because we could do this all day if we keep pushing it. That's crazy though, how much blood was on the ground and then we've gone to nothing within 100 yards. walking here, I mean, if he was strong enough to jump the fence, he, he might live, I don't know. This is, this is hard. It's starting to rain right now too, which our blood is gonna wash away. left so we get back to the truck I'll tell you more about it but I'm not in a good mood right now this is the end of our trip right here uh, with born and raised I think this is eight days eight days yeah we had a little lull in the storm there <laughs> we had a little lull storm day with uh, Trent, Trevor, Steve. Um, I can't say enough about these guys. They know elk hunting probably better than I know bass fishing. They've been doing it since they were little kids. Literally, that's how the name applies. It was a tough journey. We got to the very end. We thought everything was gonna be magical and come together. Uh, it was magical. It was. Times, but, you know, made, made a decent shot. 
we thought. Um, might have been a little in the shoulder. We're not sure. It's one of those mysteries where we don't really know. We had really good blood at first, it clogged up. You guys have been on a ton of hunts, seen this, so you know how it goes. But um, I'd be lying if I told you it wasn't an emotional thing for me because it's always hard losing an animal, especially some, something like this where you're working so hard on an elk. It takes so much effort and uh, you know these tough conditions that came in and um, we lost blood trail, rain came in and uh, got away. So Emotional thing for all of us. It is. Yeah. I mean, it 100%. was, man. It, it's, nobody likes to see that, but I mean, to dwell on that would be, I think, a mistake, I think, you know, I mean, it's just like, let's, you know, think about all the stuff that we've learned as we've, you know, grown as friends and stuff. It's been awesome. Man. Spending time in the woods with guys like this, it is a bond, for sure. Yeah. I would encourage you guys, if you have hunting buddies or just friends that you want to get a closer bond with, go out in the woods, spend some time in the woods, camping together. It is, it is awesome. You really learn more about each other and, and it's something special. So I had a nice bottle of bourbon that we were going to celebrate <laughs> with, uh, but I think I'm going to write a message on that bottle for the next time we later, go out. A later date. A cool. later, later date. date, an inspirational okay. message. So cool. uh, these guys are linked down below. Go subscribe to them. They are awesome people. They make awesome content and they work their butts off bringing you guys the, the best elk education and hunting education you can possibly get. I watched a ton of their videos before and it's been a huge learning experience. Thank I, did, you. I dipped my toe in it last year. Yeah. I wanted to dip my toe. You guys watched my video, you kind of saw that. This year we're like, we're full on deep. We're in. We're, <laughs> we're in. 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 <laughs> wow, we're just getting rained on. It's freezing out here. Elk hunting is tough. I think it's easy. It is not, but it's definitely worth it. And I encourage you guys to go do it. Watch their videos. Go subscribe. And hey, guys, love you. Thank you for staying tuned. We will see you on the next adventure. Thank you. Later. Thank you.